The world watched NASA attempt a staple of science fiction for the first time in real life. The Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, smashed into a small asteroid called Dimorphos, that posed absolutely no threat to Earth. But, we did it, to test whether asteroids that might threaten Earth, can be nudged out of the way. And while scientists are working to establish whether the test was a success, and the asteroid's trajectory altered, a telescope in Chile, captured the remarkable picture of a comet-like plume, spreading behind the giant rock that was caused by the impact. And, while all of this is super fascinating, don't you wonder why NASA chose to ram a $300 million robot into a rock, instead of an asteroid that is actually headed for us? The answer is fascinating, and terrifying at the same time. Welcome to you curious? Discover more, know more. The simple answer is that there are currently no asteroids out there, we know of, that is headed for us. But then, a huge bolide exploded in the atmosphere over Russia in 2013, blowing out thousands of windows in the city of Chelyabinsk. And it was totally unseen by scientists, until it was already a fireball, blazing above the surface of Earth. Now, the reason scientists missed the space rock, is because we have a blind spot in space, and we are going to talk about it in some time, but first, let's talk about the Torino scale, which the space community uses, to communicate the level of certainty, and potential damage of a possible future asteroid or comet impact. The scale runs from zero, for an object with almost no chance of impact or that is so small, it would do minimal damage, to 10, for an object that is certain to hit us and that may threaten the future of civilization. At the moment, of all the thousands of near-Earth objects that have been spotted and catalogued or tracked by astronomers, every single one, is scored a zero on the Torino scale. Every now and then, a new discovery or new observation, might rate an object as a one on the scale, which is still not a cause for concern, and so far, additional observations or data, have always caused the risk score to drop to a zero on the scale. The highest an object has ever scored on the Torino scale was a 4. That was for the asteroid Apophis, which initially had about a 1 in 60 chance of impacting Earth, during a predicted close pass in 2029. However, based on revised calculations, astronomers ruled out any chance of an impact, at any point over the next century. And this is where things turn fascinating, and a little concerning at the same time. The risk of any known dangerous object hitting Earth is minuscule, and almost zero. And almost zero, is higher than zero. That's why, the European Space Agency maintains a risk list of all near-Earth objects, that pose a greater than zero risk to the planet. As of September 2022, there were 1,416 objects on the list. Every object on the list has a less than 1% chance, of impacting Earth. In fact, all but 10 objects have less than a 1 tenth of 1% chance of impact, that is, a less than 1 in 1000 chance. Of those top 10 objects to worry about impacting our planet, all are less than 20 meters, 66 feet, in diameter, which is small enough, that almost all of the asteroid would burn up as it enters our atmosphere, posing essentially no threat to anything on the ground. There are still some notable objects on the risk list however. Asteroid 2022 KL8, was discovered earlier this year, and is set to make a close pass by Earth in the year 2111. With a diameter of 2000 meters, 1.25 miles, it could be a very interesting object for astronomers to study, or for future astronauts to even visit. There's also the next item up on the list chronologically, the car-sized asteroid 2009T had a 1 in 350,000 chance of smacking into the atmosphere in June 2022. However, officially the riskiest asteroid on the list, based upon a combination of its size and likelihood of impact, is asteroid 1979 XB, a monster of a rock, about a half mile across, with a less than 1 in 3 million chance of hitting us in 2056. 
If that's as scary as it gets, you begin to see why mission planners didn't bother with aiming dart at anything on the list. If there's something to be anxious about, it's the objects that we haven't yet discovered. Due to the location of our observatories, humanity has a few particularly worrying blind spots when it comes to picking out objects from the southern hemisphere, or those coming at us from behind the sun. Although a small asteroid, about the size of a six-story building, the Chelyabinsk meteor broke up over the city of Chelyabinsk, Russia, on February 15, 2013. The blast was stronger than a nuclear explosion, triggering detections from monitoring stations as far away as Antarctica. And like you rightly guessed, the huge bolide came from the direction of the sun. Upcoming missions like NASA's NEO Surveyor, are designed to eliminate this blind spot. And hopefully any threatening asteroids it might reveal in the future, can be redirected by tackling them with something like DART, to redirect them elsewhere. This is why the DART mission was so important for NASA and the world. There are plenty of asteroids and other space rocks out there, that we haven't yet discovered or started tracking, so the data gained from DART could literally come in handy at just about any moment. The observations and more conducted by numerous other astronomers will begin to paint a more detailed picture of the DART impact in coming weeks, including how much material the asteroid ejected and how much of it is made up of larger chunks, versus fine dust. We're embarking on a new era of humankind, an era in which we potentially have the capability to protect ourselves from something like a dangerous hazardous asteroid impact. What an amazing thing! We've never had that capability before, said Dr. Laurie Glaze, the director of planetary science at NASA. Here is the video for you to watch, in case you haven't been able to. The hope is all this will also better inform any future efforts, to divert more threatening space rocks, that attempt to call on Earth without an invitation. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to you curious? Discover more, know more.